pull down any demonic stronghold in your finances. I pull down any demonic stronghold in your career. I pull down any demonic strongholds in your business. I pull down any demonic strongholds in your marriage. I pull down any demonic stronghold in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Viewers, thank you for joining me today in prayer. I've been praying on your prayer request, as you can see here. And I know your situation will not escape the anointing of God. Two are better than one. And there is more to amen when two agrees. You and I, today, in agreement, will stop Satan from stealing, killing, and destroying your good destiny, your finances, your marriage, your family, and your health. When I look around and imagine the thief who comes to kill, steal, and destroy, I cannot conceive how successful works can be done or how believers can be in a place of continuous victory unless they know that the source of their danger lies in demonic powers. Demons are behind the godless activities and destructive elements you see around the world today. They are the cause of Enormous growth of pain, bitterness, sorrow. Demons are the cause. We are not called upon to fight flesh and blood. We are not called upon to fight our fellow man. God called us to battle spiritual entities that cause tension, crisis in our homes, business, careers, finances, and our spiritual life. We are called upon to battle Satan, our common enemy. He is the one attacking mankind, especially the children of God. Let me take you to Zechariah chapter 3, and we start our reading from verse 1 to verse 6. Then he showed me Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right side to accuse him. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is not this man a burning stick snatched from the fire? Now Joshua was dressed in filthy clothes, as he stood before the angel, the angel said to those who were standing before him, take off his filthy clothes. Then he said to Joshua, see, I have taken away your sin, and I will put rich garments on you. Then I said, Put a clean turban on his head. So they put a clean turban on his head and clothed him while the angel of the Lord stood by. The Bible says, Satan stood at Joshua's right hand to accuse him before the Lord and had not the Lord commanded Joshua's filthy garments to be removed. 
Joshua will have been condemned. Right now, any garment of sin, garment of unrighteousness, covering your star, be removed. Be removed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Any garment of sin, garment of unrighteousness, covering your star, be removed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Any filthy garment, any evil garment, covering your star, covering your destiny, be removed and consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That garment of sickness, that garment of setback, that garment of stagnation, limitation, disappointment, be removed and consumed by Holy Ghost fire. Be removed and consumed by Holy Ghost fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God. Cleanse your children. From the crown of their heads. To the sole of their feet. Cleanse them Lord. And they will be cleansed. Wash them. And they will be whiter than snow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God. Clothe your children. With your garment of peace. Clothe your children. With your garment of righteousness. Clothe your children. With your garment of faithfulness. Clothe your children with your garment of victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has made you right before God. Jesus Christ has made you right before God. Right now, that voice of the accuser must be quiet. That voice of the accuser must be silenced. That voice of guilt must be silenced. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes in life, you cannot move ahead or take daring decisions because of the accusing voice of Satan reminding you on your past. The voice of guilt keeps reminding you of your sinful past. Don't look down on yourself. Look up to the cross. Jesus Christ has silenced the voice of your accuser. He has silenced the voice of guilt and fear. Right now, any voice of the accuser, any voice of guilt, be silenced. Be silenced. Voice of suicide. Voice of fear. Be silenced. Be silenced. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any voice of the accuser, any voice of guilt, be silenced. Be silenced. Any voice of oppression, voice of depression, voice of suicide, voice of fear, be silenced. Be silenced. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord God. Cloth your children with the garment of a warrior. Cloth your children with the full armor of God. Give them what it takes to overcome. 
Give them what it takes to be a victor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take your place in the believer's authority. Remember, authority and power comes when you are not standing in your own name, but in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are more than a conqueror. Right now, begin to pull down any demonic stronghold in your life. Begin to pull down any demonic stronghold in your career. Begin to pull down any demonic stronghold in your business. Begin to pull down any demonic strongholds in your family. Begin to pull down any demonic stronghold in your marriage. Begin to pull down any demonic stronghold in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pull down any demonic stronghold in your finances. I pull down any demonic stronghold in your career. I pull down any demonic strongholds in your business. I pull down any demonic strongholds in your marriage. I pull down any demonic stronghold in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I challenge and pull down any evil entity tormenting your life. I challenge and pull down any spiritual wife. I challenge and pull down any spiritual husband tormenting you in the dream. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you giant man, you giant woman, tormenting my people in the dream, tormenting their health, Tormenting their finances. Tormenting their marriages. Be arrested. Be arrested. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I challenge and pull down any spiritual wife. I challenge and pull down any spiritual husband. Tormenting you. In the dream, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you giant man, you giant woman, tormenting my people in the dream, tormenting their health, tormenting their finances, tormenting their marriages, be arrested, be arrested. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any curse that entered your life through the sins of your forefathers, be broken, be broken, be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any generational curse of sickness, Generational curse of disappointment in marriage. Generational curse of failure in business. Generational curse of failure in relationships. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any curse that entered your life through the sins of your forefathers be broken be broken be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ any generational curse of sickness generational curse of disappointment in marriage generational curse of failure in business generational curse of failure in relationships be broken 
Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any evil weapon fashioned against you shall not prosper. Any evil weapon fashioned against you shall not prosper. Shall not prosper. That weapon of sickness targeting your good health be destroyed. That weapon of failure targeting your business be destroyed. That weapon of disappointment targeting your marriage be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That weapon of sickness targeting your good health be destroyed. That weapon of failure targeting your business be destroyed. That weapon of disappointment targeting your marriage be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, there are so many out there who lack homes to be quarantined to. Many are in want. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the cup that never runs dry. You are their shelters in times of need. Make a way for your children. Make a way for your children where there seems to be no way. Open doors for them. Provide their every need. Shatter them under the shadow of your protection. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command doors of uncommon breakthrough to be open in their lives right now. I command doors of uncommon breakthrough to be open in their lives right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any closed door to healing, deliverance, and all of God's blessings be open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are set free. You are set free. He who the Son of Man set free is free indeed. Right now, begin to confess your freedom. I am saved. Jesus Christ is my Savior. I am delivered. Jesus Christ is my deliverer. I am healed. Jesus Christ is my healer. I am free now. I'm no longer condemned. I am justified. I am linked up with God. Defeat and failure are things of the past. My past is over. Thank you, Lord, for answering their prayers. Thank you, Lord, for confirming your word. This is the confidence that we have. That when we ask anything according to your will, you hear and answer us. Thank you for answering our prayers. Don't forget to send us your testimonies. Remember, testimony glorifies Jesus. When you testify to the little he has done, he will do more. Don't also forget to send us your prayer request. We may not be equally gifted, but one thing is clear. God has designed things in such a way that everyone has some strength to contribute. Your strength may be in the area of wisdom. Mine may be in the area of prayer. Another may be in the area of love. Another may be in the area of encouragement. The Bible says whichever area we are strong in, we are expected to use it generously to strengthen one another. We are one another's strength, as no one can go it all alone. We need one another to succeed. Success is a collection of relationships. 
I remain your prayer partner in Jesus Christ's name. Be blessed when you go out. Be blessed when you come in. Everything about you be blessed. Your household be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I leave you in faith and I pray to meet you same time next week in an atmosphere of faith. God is for you. And if God be for you, no one can be against you. You are more than a conqueror. Shalom. Be blessed.